everybody and welcome to the channel I want to show you something in my last video I think it was I talked about how despondent I was regarding my garden and the death that I have sustained due to the excessive heat well I am not the only one however to put it in perspective when you see something so vast, it makes you think. As I was leaving my house, the farmer, there's farmland around where I live. And the farmer has corn on, I couldn't even tell you how many acres this is because there are more than one plots of land, if that's how you would describe it. Um, he has several sections in this area where he has put down corn. And as I'm driving by, I've noticed that his entire crop is gone. It looks like the entire crop has died. And I just wanted to show you all that to give you a perspective. When you feel like your efforts have gone to the wayside and you've tried everything like I mentioned in my last video you're feeding you're watering um, and there there's nothing more you can do because you can't cover your entire garden and if you can my hats off to you kudos to you I don't have the ability to cover my entire garden and because I live in a new subdivision you know they cut down all the existing trees to put up all these cooker cutter cookie cutter I can't talk this morning <laughs> cookie cutter houses that there are no existing trees nothing uh, nothing old in the area and then they plop in one or two little saplings and then they expect for that to be this great aha I gave you something you could have just left the existing trees but that doesn't fit the model so that i'm not talking about that today i want to show you uh what i've been noticing as i drive from my house into my house every day and i don't feel as bad because this farmer i can pretty much guarantee the way it looks he's lost a significant amount of money a significant amount of money because his crop is gone. And I'm just talking about my garden. Even though it's a, it's a large garden, it is nothing in comparison to what this person has put in and it looks gone. So I just wanted to pop in right quick and show you all what I'm talking about. So here's the clip. Can get a good look I'm driving so I can't slow down behind these trees you can see the tops of all the corn and almost all of it is brown you can see where they have harvested some grass I hope you all can see I do apologize I am driving pretty rapidly down the road not going too fast I'm driving a speed limit but I just want to give you all a glimpse of what this poor farmer is dealing with. Hold on just one second. I had to round the corner, but back behind the trees on the main portion of the road, you see the corn back there. And a lot of that corn is completely burnt to a crisp. There's a little bit of green, but for the most part, that corn is gone. And I do apologize that you all are getting such a quick view but I'm driving, there's a car behind me, and I can't just slow down because they'll go around you and cause great peril to everyone because people are in a hurry to get to wherever it is they're going. This land stretches as far as the eye can see, and it goes from one portion of the freeway, crosses over to another section of the freeway, and behind the housing area. It's just a large amount of land, and all of it is just burnt to a crisp as far as his food is concerned. Here is a bit of a clearing and you can kind of sort of get a glimpse of what I'm talking about. How this corn is just 
devastated. The heat has ravaged it. So I've made it back to the house and I want to close out this video by showing you guys something because I want to leave you encouraged because I know this is very discouraging. At least it is for me. So let me show you something and I hope this brings you brings you some encouragement. And I'm sorry, y'all, it's 102 degrees. So I have been messing up on some work. This right here is my Ethiopian kale, this plant right here. This plant right here is my Egyptian kale. And this one suffers a lot with the heat. Right now it's 102 degrees and as you can see, it is standing up. So I am watering, the wind is blowing. I hope you all can hear me. I am watering, but there's only so much you can do because let me show y'all something. I'm not gonna push you into the sun, but there is no cover. I have no existing cover. The sun is bright and so I have no cover over my garden. It's just sun, 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 sky, sky, sky. But what I want to show you is this. On the um, Ethiopian kale, can you all see? I have seeds here. Now the flowers have dried up because it is hotter than I don't know what out here. But it has begun to go to seed. And I'm going to save these seeds because we need to grow. We either need to save seed, purchase seed, get into a seed swap and get seeds by um, others who are willing to allow us to pay postage or swap by us giving them something and them, them giving us something. But we need to grow something. You all saw the devastation of my garden in my last video. You all just saw the farmer's huge corn um, that's just gone. And if we're not growing something, we are going to end up in a place where there might not be enough because that farmer was growing for more than just his family. He was growing for either a co-op or to send that to market so that the community could eat. Let me turn around so you all can see me. I just want to talk to you all for just a quick second. In roughly, I want to say, 1943 to 1945, the United States government was supporting individuals, everyday citizens, to have victory gardens, to supplement the shortages that were on the shelves. Right now, there isn't a whole lot of communication about the shortages, when it's gonna change, how it's gonna change. What we're seeing is an increase in everything. Gas prices, housing prices, food prices. Not only is there a shortage in food, what we get is expensive. I looked at, and I don't know if I, I mentioned this to you all before, but I know I had this conversation with my spouse. A half a gallon of milk was $4, over $4, $4 and some change. I ended up buying two, so I spent over $8 on milk. Same thing for eggs. We need to grow a little something, a little something. I get told all the time by people who are amazed at the effort that I put into my garden. And they say, well, why do you do it? And I explain why I do it. And then they go, well, I'm not a farmer. Neither am I. I'm an everyday average citizen who enjoy going out and growing a little something. To me, my garden is a little something. It's much larger than it, it has been in the past, but to me, it's a little something. For others, it could be more than what they could accomplish or even want to achieve. But if all you want to do is have a small container or a small area in your garden or on your patio, then do that. It's important. If you don't have a lot of money, then start out, like I said, swap seeds. Find a friend who gardens and try to swap plants. There are so many people who grow that we can't give seeds away enough because we are we're just over, just an overabundance of seeds that we tend to have. So try to grow a little bit of something. It's important, not only to our environment, but it's important to us and our families because if you look at what's going on, we really need to grow. All that corn you guys saw is gonna end up being food to the, the pigs or the cows 
or maybe he's gonna burn it, I don't know, but it's not gonna feed humans. It's not going to the stores. So this is just me saying average, average human being, just a woman who decided that she wanted to grow a little something uh, because she lost a family member and it made me feel good about getting out in the garden. Just grow a little something. And once you start, I think you'll enjoy it. So this is me saying thank you for stopping by today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was entertaining. And if it was, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you either in the kitchen or the garden real soon. Did y'all see that? I think that was a wasp flying by. I gotta get inside. It's 102 degrees, y'all. Bye for now.